coming in from Tamil Nadu, where you have TTV Dinakaran, who's attacked the AI DMK, and he's gone on to say that the party is losing the legacy under Edipadi Palni Swami. Also, adding that the cadre is not happy with EPS, open to forming an alliance with the National Party. Let's listen in. Jalalta took years to build the legacy of ADMK, but right now, do you see the legacy somewhere getting lost under his leadership? He is spoiling the image of ADMK. Palani Chami's selfish activities is destroying the party, and surely the cadres of real cadres of Amma will teach him a lesson. Will you be open to forming an alliance with the national party? Yeah, with the national parties. We are open to form alliance either with BJP or Congress. DMK Congress alliance is intact. So the only other party that you have is BJP, sir. No, no, no. It is intact today. You cannot predict what is going to happen in three months or in six months. They are afraid of the BJP because of their ill deeds. Edapati Paini Sami, uh, will you be okay to form an alliance with him if the BJP wants you on board? All the real cadres of Amma should be in one line, should form alliance with uh, like-minded parties who are uh, against DMK. And Purnima, who in fact had that conversation, is now joining us on the broadcast. Uh, Purnima, two big takeaways as far as the conversation that you had with TTV. One, that he is saying that the cadre that is under EPS currently is not happy because they somewhere feel that the legacy that was built by Amma is being lost. More importantly, he's also kept the dialogue very open, saying we're okay forming an alliance with the National Party, either the BJP or the Congress. Absolutely. Remember, the rift within the AI DMK between Edapadi Panisami and O Pani Selvam continues to intensify. And uh, with uh, more than a year to go for elections, the speculation here is that uh, uh, ADMK wants to form a mega alliance and uh, and that it could perhaps uh, uh, be open to even uh, having TTV Dinakaran on board along with the BJP. So clearly, at this point in time, TTV Dinakaran saying that he's open to forming alliance with like-minded parties. Of course, he uh, in 20. 19, he did not form an alliance with either the BJP or the Congress, but this time around, TTV Dinakran is keen that uh, with the help of a national party, he will be or his party will be contesting elections. And obviously, at this point in time, ADMK BJP alliance is also intact on the one side, DMK Congress on the other side, and uh, uh, TTV Dinakran is likely uh, eyeing to uh, join the mega alliance that will be formed by uh, the AIA DMK BJP is what sources tell us. Therefore, uh, uh, right now the speculation is that TTV Dinakran is also trying to uh, to have uh, both uh, uh, Edapadi Parni Sami as well as the BJP on board and that's something that he is eyeing for is what sources tell us at this point in time. So. We'll have to wait and see. At the moment, Edapadi makes it clear that he will decide who his alliance partners would be and that there's no scope for TTV Dinakran uh, to be on board. But uh, in politics, anything can happen and the next six months would be crucial to decide how uh, the talks uh, among uh, the players pan out, especially uh, between TTV Dinakran, BJP as well as the AIA, DMK. That's the speculation at this point in time. You know, Purnama, every time you speak about the politics of Tamil Nadu, you talk about the key players, they all want to claim true legacy as far as Amma and Jalalta is concerned. But, you know, when you have TTV coming out and saying that the cadre is not happy under EPS, many would also question the kind of clout TTV himself has or the kind of clout people like Sasi and him can have. So what is the kind of confidence that EPS is currently, uh, TTV is currently working with? Well, TTV Dinakran has time and again said that Edapadi Paini Sami does not have the mass support of especially the ADMK cadre, while a few uh, former ministers still uh, prefer uh, Edapadi Paini Sami over TTV Dinakran or Opani Selvam. But the real cadre, TTV Dinakran, time and again says that they are not happy with the way the ADMK is functioning and that Edapadi, instead of raising issues that are impacting the people of Tamil Nadu, is focusing more on trying to ensure that ADMK uh, accepts him as a 
single leader of the party and therefore uh, ttv says that because ed party's priorities are only about how he can uh, he can be uh, the face of the admk kada are not happy uh, considering that bjp in the recent past is trying to raise issues is trying to uh, protest across the state and uh, uh, political analysts say that uh, bjp is now trying to emerge as a stronger opposition than the admk which is why ttv dinakran says that real kada want a strong leader who will not think about himself but think about how to raise issues how to play politics and how to ensure that admk gets back on track that's something that ttv dinakran said Uh, in an interview that we took a short while ago Purnima before i continue the conversation i quickly just want to understand uh, are we already seeing a reaction from the aidmk well admk especially the edapadi parni sami camp uh, maintains that uh, there is no place for o parni selvam or ttv dinakran uh, within the ai admk or even uh, for the matter of fact vk sasikla uh, the the case uh, where uh, edapadi and o parni selvam are trying to ensure that uh, one wants single leadership the other wants dual leadership the case is still uh, being heard in the supreme court while the case uh, while both of them have taken the legal routes possible uh, uh, at the moment uh, in fact uh, admk may I apologize for interrupting. We have to shift our.